Hi, in this video we're going to talk about some arithmetically decreasing annuities. In previous videos we've seen arithmetically increasing annuities and we even did a video on arithmetically increasing perpetuities. So this finishes up our, our videos on arithmetic annuities. Uh, again, we're going to focus on decreasing annuities in this one. So our basic decreasing arithmetic annuity is going to look like this. An in payment annuity, the first payment is N, and then N minus 1, N minus 2, all the way down to a final payment of 1. Going to play the same game that we've been playing before. We're going to look at different valuation dates and look at the symbols that are used to represent the value of the annuity at these different valuation dates. Uh, just uh, again, uh, another same comment that I made before. The symbols that are, uh, the arithmetic annuities have symbols for these values at these different valuation dates that you're expected to know. Unlike the geometric annuities, there's no symbol for the values at the geometric, uh, for, at the different valuation dates for the geometric annuities. But for arithmetic annuities, we do have these symbols. Remember when we had this arithmetically increasing annuity, we used like a cap I A or cap I A double dot and so forth. So you can probably guess the symbols that I'm going to use now. If I take the valuation date one period before the first payment, then I'm going to symbolically represent the value of the annuity at that date with a cap D because it's decreasing, so a cap DA angle in. So that will be the present value of this basic decreasing annuity immediate. Let's look at the VEP expression. I've listed out the VEP expression in the closed roof formula. The VEP expression is you take the first payment of N. I need to discount that one period back to the valuation date. So I would do that by multiplying by a V. So the first term in the VEP expression is going to be an N times V. The second term, the N minus 1 payment it needs to be discounted two periods. So the second term is going to be N minus 1 times V squared and so forth. You get one of these georhythmic uh, sums again. So I'm going to leave it to you to, as an exercise to try to uh, convince yourself that the closed roof formula for that georhythmic sum is what I have listed there, an N minus an A angle N divided by I. So let's move on. Let's move the valuation date one period forward. And when I do that, I'll use a cap D A double dot. That's kind of logical to use for the value of the annuity at that valuation date. I've got listed the VEP expression and the closed roof formula. Those should be, you know, the VEP expression you should do easily. Closed roof formula. I'll come back to, to that state, the closed roof formulas towards the end of the video here. Let's move the valuation date to the time of the last payment. The symbol we would use for the value there is a cap DS angle in. Uh, it will be the accumulated value of this basic decreasing annuity immediate. And I've got the VEP and the closed roof formulas listed on the slide now. Move the valuation date one more period forward. And the symbol that we would use for the value there would be a cap DS double dot angle in. It would be the accumulated value of this basic decreasing uh, annuity due. Okay, so uh, and, and finally the VEP and, and closed roof formulas are listed there. Okay, so let's talk about the closed roof formulas once again. This is going to be, should look familiar to you. I'm going to tell you this is the only one that you really need to memorize. You can get the other closed roof formulas from this one in the same way that we did, uh, that we, we were able to get other closed roof formulas for basic annuities and increasing annuities. In other words, to go from the non-double dot formulas to the double dot formulas, replace what's in the denominator, replace the I that's in the denominator by a D, and to go from the uh, A formulas to the S formulas, multiply by a 1 plus I to the N. So I'm going to leave it to you to kind of look at, at this and make sure that, that uh, you agree and that you understand what's going on here on this one. Okay, so we're going to do a few examples. Some of these can get kind of tricky. So I'm going to do a few examples in, in the next videos. And uh, again, that, uh, some of them can't kind of, you, you got to tweak them a little bit. It gets kind of tricky. All right, so I'll see you in the next video.